Hey guys, what's up? William here, and I want to show you. This is what I'm questioning about the Earth's tilt. And if you see the um, the general consensus of science is that this Earth travels on this plane, this straight plane, and that it's tilted perpendicular to this plane, and that we have this tilt, and that's where the procession of the seasons are so let's um, let's delve into this a little more guys so here we go um, the earth has a tilt of about 23.4 degrees now this is interesting because a lot of places that you look up it actually will say that the tilt is 25 degrees if you look at here the Earth is tilted 23.5. Sorry, I didn't mean 25. I meant 23.5. And it'll say 23.5. And it'll say 23.5. Now, this is where I think there's a little bit of deception. See, look here. They say it's 23.5. Okay, the exact number is 23.439281. So why are they going against the traditional rounding convention? I mean, in every single time of rounding, this would be 23.44, and that would round to 23.4. So how do you go up to 23.5 that is beyond me? Okay, um, I think there's an agenda here, and let me show you why. Okay, just remember, so the question is, is it 23.4 or is it 23.5, and is there a reason? So, um, Wikipedia says it's 23.4. Uh, I believe that's because it's peer-reviewed. Maybe there's not as much of an agenda here. Okay, um, but... There's some other things that I want to show. So seasons, seasons are on its tilt or spin off perpendicular to the orbital plane. So if you see here, the this orbital plane is static from what they say, and this tilt is exactly perpendicular from that. What does perpendicular means? Perpendicular means at a 90 degree angle to. Okay, so there's no way that there's something tilted at 23 degrees is perpendicular. They're just using that as a vague term. They don't think that you know mathematical terms, but we know that something at 23 degrees is not perpendicular. Okay, but that's just saying it's 23 degrees in relation to, these, to this flat plane. Or is this perpendicular saying something else? Okay, so here's the thing. Complementary angles are two angles which the measurement together is equal to 90 degrees. Huh. 90 degrees, complementary angles. Huh, they're saying perpendicular. Well, let's look at complementary angles and let's see if there's something in this complementary angles that has to do with Oh, wait, what's that? Huh. That's a right angle. Okay. Anything at a right angle is perpendicular. Well, this symbol is very, very familiar. Why, well, yes. It's the Masonic Square. Okay. And this is the Masonic Compass. So if we look at these two symbols, we can say... Masonic compass, they want us to measure angles. That's what this is for. It measures angles. Um, it can also draw circles and stuff like this, but it is able to measure angles. So this compass could measure what a complementary angle is or supplementary or any other angle. And then we have the ruler. So the ruler is saying, okay, here is this perfect 90 degree square. Okay, this is how we determine if things are on the level, if they're square, and if they're true. Okay, so we're measuring angles, and we're measuring things in relation to 90 degree angles. 
here. So definitely, it's two angles measurements added together to be 90 degrees. So it definitely thinks, I mean, it definitely looks like we should be looking at things that are complementary. Okay, and here's where we come into trackmatic. Thanks, buddy. Um, we're talking about the moon and the moon phases and stuff like that. And he brings up the axial tilt of 23.4 degrees and the 90 degrees for the complementary. That leaves a complementary angle of 66.6 .6 degrees. Sign of the deceiver. Yeah, I agree, man. That is a sign of the beast, is it not? Uh, is this possibly saying that the proposed tilt from NASA, from the government, this 23.4 degrees, is that the sign of Satan? Is that 666? Quite interesting, my brother. Quite interesting. So... You know, you can do a lot of... I was going to show you this little math angle song. It's actually really stupid. It doesn't really prove much anything. But this, we're at angles. We should be look, looking at angles, and we should be looking at angles for 90-degree angles, guys. That's complementary. And so we must ask, why, why is 23.43 rounded up to 25? Okay. And I think that the answer is, is to, is partial deception. Because 23.5 minus 90 is 66.5. Well, that's not the mark of the beast. Well, quite convenient rounding, guys. Quite convenient rounding. For me, I don't think things are as round as they say they are. They're not as globular in the least. So, um... Thanks, Trekmatic. I really appreciate it as a little bit of um, how I can say thank you. I want to uh, I want to play this little bit of his most recent video. Again, Trekmatic, this is thanks for bringing out a good view, helping me out, man. Alright guys, so thanks a lot. Really appreciate your time here. I hope you like this little look into the tilt of the earth. And again, without Trackmatic, I wouldn't have really thought of this. I wouldn't have really put this together. So thanks buddy. I'm going to go ahead and like and subscribe here. You know, I actually did like your music. Uh, kind of impressed guys. So thanks for your ideas. Thanks for your music. Uh, this is a community effort, guys. You know, 
there's things that are right in front of us that we've never even thought about. It's never occurred to us to think about these things. So we have to get past this perceptional bias. So judge for yourself, guys. And as always, question everything. Till another episode.